What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the latest episode of Mario Luigi Superstar Saga, the first episode of the new year, and I hope you guys enjoy it, because it's going to be a super, super long one. Last episode, we, um, we found out that Princess Peach's voice wasn't stolen, and apparently, it, it was all a trick, which they didn't tell us about, because Ann Bowser showed up. Anyway, this episode, I... Uh, let's see, what are we doing this episode? I, I... I can't remember, to be honest. Um... I... I uh, where are we supposed to be going? I don't know. Anyway, you guys, we are gonna be uh, dealing with whatever happens this episode. And like I said, I am gonna make this episode a much longer than I usually do. So, longer than a half hour at the very least. Oh, spot on timing. Yeah. Master oh, Mario Luigi. I was just speaking with Queen Bean. She tells me there was a mushroom town in Bean Bean Kingdom called Little Funky Town. Do you know of it? Uh, I I'm not allowed back in Little Funky Town. <laughs> uh. It's a town full of toads who have migrated to this land. Probably get away from all the crazy shit in the Mushroom Kingdom. Since we have... Oh, wait, Peach. Since we have come all the way to this land, I wish to pay an official royal visit to Little Funky Town. <laughs> That's acceptable and fair, but to reach Little Funky Town, you must travel through... Go, you must go north through Tiki Valley. Tiki Valley is filled with vile monsters. It'd be a little... No, very dangerous for Princess Peach. As a royal representative of Senior Toads, I must vigorously oppose this idea. Dude, don't have an aneurysm. Passing through the unknown lands filled with monsters is absolutely absurd by the very idea! <laughs> and yet, I suppose if Mario and Luigi escorted you... Mario, Luigi! Since we have come to a consensus, won't you take me to... Little Funky Town? I like how there's a little pause there. Oh, no. Ow! Chiluji doesn't want to go and Mario hits him. How, how harsh. Will that do, Toadsworth? As if I have any say in the matter. Just be very, 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 very careful. I'm not sure if I said all the varies, but... Eh. I must begin preparations immediately! Mario, you and Luigi should meet us up north at the entrance to Tiki Valley. And with that, please allow me to excuse myself, Queen Bean. That beautiful princess is not only beautiful, but both wise and courageous as well. Yeah. I am severely impressed. Mario, Luigi, we have entrusted Princess Peach's safekeeping to the two of you. No, you haven't. We, we've been doing this shit long before you were around. Well, Mario has, at least. Leave the castle and head northeast to reach Tiki Valley. Okay. So, we're going to have to do an annoying escort mission. Fantastic. Also, and and this is uh, something I want to just kind of throw out there. Uh, I The reason I want to make this episode super long is both to commemorate uh, the new year, you know, you know, um, hope everything turns out right, all that jazz, and also, this is a, this episode is a tribute. That's right, I am dedicating this episode to my cat. I know a lot of you are just like, wait, what? Well... Uh, recently I just found out that my, my old cat, Scrappy, um, I, I, I call him Scrappers because he's a Scrapper, um, recently he bit somebody, a and he's old, um, and apparently he's being put down. Yeah. Yeah. Because the person he bit is afraid he has ladies in. Well, I, I don't like it. To be perfectly honest, I'm like, who the f cares? You know, if you got rabies, take the medicine for it. Um, but apparently, 
Wait, is this? Oh, right, right, right. We need to get, we need to get hammers. We need to get some hammer time in this house. All right. And anyway, um, so yeah, well, my family is kind of willing to put him down because apparently, if whoever he bit presses charges, you know, they want they want us to pay for a medical treatment. Then um, apparently, it's gonna be very expensive. And I'm sorry, I'm I'm skipping for this. I I just don't care. Anyway, so yeah. Which it sucks because my I, I love my cat. Um, I love him a lot. So this episode is is dedicated to my cat Scrappy. You know he's he's lived a long life. To be perfectly honest, I'm not sure exactly how old he is by um, my cat standards or human standards. But I do know he's up there, so I don't like it. I don't like that I have to say goodbye to a good friend. Master Mario, Master Luigi. Yeah, okay. Uh huh. Alright, like I said, I'm skipping through this because really, all this is really going to be is a giant fucking escort mission, and I don't care. I don't care about the style, like, I really don't. So, anyway, like I said, uh, yeah, what a way to commemorate the new year, right? By now, my cat's gonna die, and I, today, I feel like shit. I have a cold, I've, I've been, <laughs> I've become intimately familiar with my toilet bowl, if that means anything. Which I'm sure most of you are just like, you gross, don't tell us that, but, you know. Anyway, so yeah. Um, that's the main reason I am posting this episode. Because the previous episode didn't get any views for the past couple weeks. And to be perfectly honest, I was getting a little sick of it. But, you know, I decided, you know what? I'm, I'm making a tribute uh, episode. And, um, yeah. So, and, and again, I really don't want to have to say this. I really don't feel, feel like a dick, but... For those, um, ones of my videos who haven't gotten any views recently, and you guys can check out which ones are I'm talking about on my channel, uh, please, um, go check them out. You know, um, leave a comment, even if it's just a, a thumbs up, a like, you know, I'd greatly appreciate it. Just to be perfectly honest, I am getting a little antsy, but you know enough about me. You now this this episode is not about me. It's about Scrappy and honoring the life he's lived. Cause I I, I just love that old cat. And yeah, I'll, I'll put it this way: um, when it's not winter, you know, when it's like fall, summer. You know, the, the good months, in my opinion. I, I occasionally, like, I don't know, I go, go down to my grocery store, which is only, like, six blocks away. And, um, well, like, if I wanted to buy some Mountain Dew, like, go buy some. Scrappy would always, if he wasn't inside sleeping, uh, he would always follow me. Always. And I, I love that, because it was like he was kind of protecting me, you know? He's like, don't worry, don't worry, Kissy, I'll keep an eye on you. And I love that, you know, he, he was a great, um, great pet and a great friend. Well, no, he, he, he was a great friend. I never considered Scrappy my pet. Um, never. But, you know, that's something I want you guys, um, you know, I, I'm going to actually make that the question of the day. You know, if, if you had a, ever had, like, a pet uh, before... Who was your favorite pet? And like, you know, um, you know, you know, tell me a little bit about them in the comments. Or you know, may maybe you you too have lost a pet. Um, you feel sad about it. Which I would, you know, I, I want to hear that because I 
I'm losing one of my one of my friends and now well, now well, and this isn't the first time I've had to say goodbye to a good good friend uh, a few years ago um, we had this dog Sam which you guys may know occasionally I like to nickname some of my Pokemon in my Pokemon Let's Play Sam in remembrance of that because Sam was a great dog um, occasionally I take him out for walks in, in the winter I'd make sure his water dish was not frozen over you know what I mean and um yeah I, I, I took care of Sam and I wish I had done more and occasionally, he was a little frustrating, not gonna lie. Because occasionally, he would get out of the fence and we'd have to chase him around town. Which, um, I, I like, kinda, because... Well, not the whole chasing him part, but the fact... Uh, well... Yeah, I, I just love playing with Sam. And a few years ago, um, Sam, again, was, he was kind of old. And apparently, he had some medical problems that he couldn't, well, he wouldn't have survived. Um, we, they took him to a vet or something, or, or kennel, because, you know, they're like, we, we can't afford his medical upkeep. You know, like the occasional shot, like they, we could afford, but the kind of surgery Sam would need was way out of our, our price range, which I did, uh, which I can kind of stand. And unfortunately, um, Sam didn't, didn't survive. So this is a sad episode, and I am, I realize I am kind of, I don't know, it's kind of coming out of nowhere, but. I was not, I was planning on making, um, a new Let's Play to celebrate the new year, you know? You know, like, Happy 2016 is a new Let's Play. But, um, I recently found out about Sam, and I realized a tribute, um, would be much more appropriate. Alright. Yeah, let's get some more health. So, you know, um, this is also dedicated to anyone who's lost a pet, friend, and, um, hopefully, wherever, uh, cats end up, which, to be perfectly honest, I don't know. I, I do not, um, believe in God, I'm an atheist, I'll say that right now, but at the same time, I am, I'm hoping hoping that there is um that there, if there is a heaven that's um Sam <clears throat> and Scrappy you know they got to go because if they didn't and then I found out like there's a like a cat version of hell I'm gonna be mad well not mad but we were good pets good friends and the fact that I have to Say goodbye to another one. It's just, it's just devastating, you know. I mean, like I said earlier, I have not been feeling good today, and um, you know, I was just like, oh great, I feel sick, you know. You know, I was like, I'll just you know go to sleep, feel better in the morning. Oh fudge! Wait, now we got to do this part again. You know, but of. Apparently, um, yeah. Then I just recently found out my cat's again. I died. Well, technically, he's a family cat. You know, technically. But I, I honestly believe no one was closer to Scrappy than I was. Which, yeah. There we go. Oh, 
Alright. Yeah, I, I, I don't like these escort missions. At all. But, we have to do it. And, and trust me, if I could skip this part, I would. But I can't. Um, because I can't. And that's um, something I don't like. Because this mission is just so tedious. Uh, on my old channel, when I posted this episode, um, I had some problems recording, and I, I managed to skip through, you know, most of the, um, well, the entire mission, pretty much. Anyway, so, yeah, this mission is just, ah, uh, let's see, let's see Mario. You know, let's not have a, uh, this kind of episode. Anyway, so, yeah. Really don't know what else to say, I just hate this mission. But, um, we gotta do it. There we go. Yep, okay. Yeah, this, I mean, it's, it's not, like, horrible as far as, you know, escort missions go, really, but, you know, they're just, it's just so boring, you know? And, and we can't, you know, speed up, because if we let Peach out of our sight, apparently she gets kidnapped. You know, because, no, God. This, this episode is just gonna be one giant. Of... Okay, you know what? You know what? Peach get kidnapped. I'm just gonna open the. Yeah, see, there we go. Perfect example. Which I find really, really retarded. I mean, there are no enemies to grab her. You know? How the fudge can she be kidnapped? You know? When Princess Peach gets kidnapped. So often, you know, it's just, it's not even funny. Like, like, you can't have one Mario game without Peach getting kidnapped. You know, I, I don't recall if there ever was one when Peach did not have to be rescued. In any way, shape, or form. You know? Which, well, this one technically, Peach doesn't get kidnapped. Oh, of, of course, of course, the door, the door's closed. You know, of, of course, that makes total sense. Which it, it, it does, kinda. Honestly, I just thought if I opened the door, it'd stay open. Well, silly me, you know. And, and if you guys can kind of hear voices in the background, I'm sorry, my family is... You know, it's just being annoying. There we go. There we go. Finally. Little Funky Town. Little Funky Town's up ahead. Don't let your guard down. I love how she just rushes off without, without us following her. You know, there we go. Game saved, and Princess Peach is being held hostage by a bonsai monster tree. Okay. Okay, so yeah, let's. I, I, oh yeah, that's why I think we're supposed to attack the uh, tree part. I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's um, let's try attacking the trunk or whatever. Okay, so we're we're doing da damage regardless, but you know. We are 
we are making progress, hopefully. Oh wait, that did nothing. Alright, let's try attacking this then. Alright, that's... Now oh, somebody's getting poisoned. Oh, my all got poisoned. That's lovely. Which, you know, we'll do with that in a minute. Do we have any... Yeah, we have a couple nuts. <laughs> Alright, um... Anyway, I just hope you guys are enjoying this episode, and if you are, leave a like, a comment, subscribe, answer the question of the day, because you know, I'd like to hear from that. And also, um, you know, hope you guys, uh, hope your new year so far has been a decent one, because mine sucked. You know, just hope you guys are having a, a better New Year's Day than, than I am. Which, you know, that's not saying much. Okay, now I'm, now I'm making progress. Oh wait, there we go. I'll just take this thing down. Right, Mario, you heal everybody, and we do all attack. Okay, there we go. Perfect. That didn't take as long as I thought it would. But it still took long. Long, long time. Oh, Mario Luigi, thank you, you saved me. It looks like they got it. So, yeah, that monster blocking the gate to town was a huge problem, needless to say. Thank you. You're welcome. W welcome to Little Funky Town. Every time I hear that, that name, I just think Funk Town. Princess Peach, M Mario Bros, we've been waiting for you. We were told to expect you. Please, we insist you use the lift in the back. Okay, how else were we supposed to get up? <laughs> I just wonder what kind of town it is. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, Mario, and you too, Luigi. Hop on. Princess Peach, is, is, is that you, your highness? We, we'd we heard you were coming from Toadsworth, but so soon? We we are so honored you've come all the way he here. Uh, and over here we have the Superstar M Mario? I can't tell the stuttering or the just... I don't know. And L L Luigi, are, are you for real? We we don't deserve such an incredible honor. Thanks for your hospitality. Very well then. I'll also show you around a little fungi town. Mario Luigi, thank you so much for all that you've done. I'm all right now. You two can relax a little and walk around and enjoy the sights. We can all meet up again a little bit later. Where? Okay. I'll see what can we buy here. Um Wow, we can get ninety super mushrooms. 
Ah, oh, we don't need that many. We'll get ten. And, um, I don't know, we can get super nuts. Um, twenty. There we go. And super, um, so up. Do do do. And we'll go to twenty. Okay. There we go. We're leaving. Alright, now uh, there's something else we need to do, right? It's like some event or something. I think it's in the next area. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, we have to play this game and lose. No, wait, we have to win, do we? Yeah, this, this, this game itself is not, not particularly hard. Um, but it's um, it's kind of annoying. See, see, look at that. You know, we need to get 200 points, and we have plenty of time left. Yeah, we we got this. So anyway, this is um this is a sad episode. Which hopefully you guys um I apologize for. I do. I'm sorry. But I just really hope you guys um don't forget to go check out my other LPs, please. I I'd really appreciate that. And then Vincent Mushroom. Yeah, look how delectable it is. You you've killed Mario. Congratulations. How how is he? Green hue, discoloration in the face, symptoms that seem to indicate Bean Fever! No mistake in it. This illness afflicts many travelers who aren't used to the food in this region. But well then can you cure him? Had I right the had I had I the right remedy I could cure him, but sadly I'm all out. At this rate, in three days, he'll be a bean. Oh, oh so that's how everybody got all that so many beans. People migrated from the Mushroom Kingdom made the wrong shit. Wow. Oh, do they mean like an inanimate bean? You know, like, like can you put in um, chili or something? It's somewhat dangerous, but to the west of this town lies a place known as Gufaha Ruins. Oh yeah, Gufaha Ruins right next to Tihi Valley. I see what they did there. They said that deep within Gufaha Ruins, there grows crabby grass, an antidote to this fever. Luigi, will you go to Gufaha Ruins? I'm sorry, now, according to recent research, frightful monsters such as these have settled into Gufaha Ruins. Why would you tell him that? You know? I mean, it's like, oh, okay, go to these wounds, um, you know, get some grass to heal your brother. And by the way, watch out for the scary monsters that will kill you. Have fun! Rumor says that those who have been attacked by these monsters have had their bones broken, the flesh stripped, and the blood sucked out. Yike. Or oh, yuck. See, why tell him that? Alright? He needs to do this, and you're scaring the living shit out of him. Well, that's what they say. Oh, 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 okay. And yeah, I'm a bit of a joke there. Oh my, that's quite frightful. Yeah, and it didn't need to be, either. But, yo, Luigi, surely you'll do fine there. Surely. Uh, right, Luigi? You'll be fine, won't you? This is for Mario's sake, right? 
You will go, yes? I feel so sorry for losing this. Look at that, bro true brotherly love. She of Wales making his cowardly bones move. How inspiring. Shut up. Alright, you're the one that made him freak out. Alright? If he had gone there, never knowing about any monsters, he would have been fine. You know, he wouldn't be like, oh shit, monsters! But I have to do this for Mario! You know? Luigi, you're our only hope. Come back safe, like, we'll be waiting for you. Yeah, like, I, I don't like this part of the game. Just because Luigi is scared shitless. Right? He, he needs to be brave to get this crab grass. The only fucking way he's gonna get become brave is for a hypnotist to hypnotize him into thinking he's Mario. You know? I mean, seriously, that's so retarded. Right? He needs to be courageous on his own. You know, he can't keep relying on Mario. Which, that, that's something that annoys out of me. Right? Luigi is so underrated. Right? He, he has all this potential and everybody keeps shitting on him. They keep looking at what his name is. Right? And and then, like, again, like now. I right? He needed to be brave. I, he needed to find courage to rescue his brother. Well, not rescue his brother. He save his brother from certain, certain death. Right? Let's just assume that it turned into a bean. You're a regular bean. You die. Right? Or you get eaten or whatever. Right? And and that doctor just like, oh yeah, by the way, they're scary monsters. You're, you're probably gonna die, but the you know, you gotta be brave. I, I can understand why Luigi would be scared shitless. I would be too! I mean, I'm trying to uh, help my brother. And, you know, he tells me, like, oh, there's scary monsters here. And it's like, yep, yep, frightful, frightful monsters. You know? It's like, good luck! You know, and he didn't even need to go into detail. You know, he didn't need to say, Oh yeah, you'll have your bones broken, your flesh stripped, and your, you know, your blood sucked out. Like, that was going too far. Right, but, you know, you know apparently he had, to, he had to, you know, he's a doctor. And doctors can't, you know, can't lie to you. Well, you know. You know, because, you know, God forbid, it's like, oh no, it's, it, the only problem is how far away it is. Like, you'll, you'll be fine. But, but no, he had to mention monsters and dying. Which I am, I'm going to try and avoid fighting uh, people, because if Luigi gets leveled up, um, I feel like that kind of upset the balance between him and Mario I got going on. Because I try and keep them about as equal as I can. You know, I, I, I try and... I try so hard. And, you know... Alright, uh... I can't remember how this puzzle works. It's puzzles like this that kind of annoy me. So that does reset everything. Alright, let's try hitting this one. Alright. Okay, 
Okay, that that did something. There we go. Perfect. Alright, this should take us. Yeah, there we go. Oh no. Oh no no no. Oh no no no. This is not time for conga lining. I think that's what it was. Conga? Or. I don't know. Limbo, that's it. Never mind, I was thinking about Limbo. You mustache. Yeah. Yeah, we just. Yeah, okay. Fine, I'll, I'll help with leave your stress. Because, you know. And God forbid you do it yourself. <sighs> really? <sighs> Come on, I have to climb all the way back up. <sighs> I hate this game. Well, no, 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 no. Let me rephrase. I, I don't hate the game. I hate this part. You know? There we go. Perfect. Right. I'm sorry I should pass on, but I don't care about it. We got crabby grass. Perfect. And how convenient we ride back in Funky Town. You know, how convenient. Luigi, are you okay? What? You don't know what you've been doing? Oh yeah, that's right. He, he, he thinks he's been Mario this entire time. Don't you remember? I heard you went to go for, go for her ruins to get Krabby Grass for Mario. Did, did you really get Krabby Grass? It, it really is Krabby Grass. Going to fight for and dangerous girl for her wounds all by yourself? Luigi, how incredibly courageous you are! Surely you'll be a legend in this town! Good, Luigi can kinda branch out from Mario's shadow a bit. By the way, what do you think what do you think that thunderous noise was? Could something have happened at the embassy? Luigi, shouldn't you be rushing to Mario's side? Yep. Lu Luigi P Princess Peach, she I'm back! Love that laugh. Excuse me, Bowser. You think you- I think you're solely mistaken. I'm... Balletta. Calculated power has poured into this Koopa who is king. The body is of the Bowser, but the mind is all of the great Calculita. Oh, that laugh. I need no voice this time. I'll just steal the real deal. You're still stealing the voice. You know, you just... Whatever. Alright, we got Krabby Grass, Mario saved, and what Princess Peach has been kidnapped. Master Mario, Master Larry... Oh, no. It's over. Mr. Mario, Mr. Luigi, awful thing transpired while you were off doing who knows what. It looks like my hobbies will have to be shelved once again. Your Highness, Bowser, no, Calculator, I mean Balita, a message has arrived. <laughs> I wish I was a Game Boy. Yo, puny worms are no match for me now. I'm the only gonna say this once, so listen up. If you want your precious princess returned safely, bring me the four shards of the bean star. 
I will contact you again once the bean star is complete. Oh my, how has it come to this? But since we played, we played our hand out, only to find the game's not over yet. There is little we can do for now. We must scout the bean star ashore as his belly is demanded. Luckily, I know the general areas that the piece fell in, so it shouldn't be too hard to find them. I have marked the areas where the pieces fell. We will gather the same pieces first. The same Mario Bros. or me. I'll bet nine million nine hundred. Uh, yeah, a lot. Do not scoff. I do not intend to lose. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, you guys, we are actually going to end it off this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I realize it was on the under the under the greatest of circumstances I posted this, but I just hope you guys understand. So once again you guys thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, a comment, subscribe, answer the question of the day, and uh, check out my other videos, please. I I'd really appreciate that. I really hate having to ask, but please. And uh, I'll see you guys again, hopefully, next week. You know, with my other Let's Plays. So, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.